I'm Dan Ackerman, Editor-in-Chief at Micro Center, and I'm going to tell you about some of my favorite Black Friday picks for 2023, all on sale at Micro Center stores. The Samsung Odyssey Neo, yes, it's a widescreen monitor, but it's not a widescreen monitor like any you have ever seen before. It's only 1440 pixels high, so it's 5,000 something pixels wide. It is the craziest gaming and computer monitor I think I have ever seen in all my years covering tech stuff. And it's often very, very expensive. It is on sale for Black Friday, super immersive, curves all the way around you like this. And it's great for flight sims and space sims and racing games, or you can even take Take a couple of different computers and hook them up to it through a KVM switch and you can have one computer on this half of the monitor, another one on this half of the monitor. A lot of different ways you can use the Samsung Odyssey and at about a thousand bucks off, you can actually invest in something really cool and unique like this without breaking the bank. People often ask me what 3D printer I use at home. It is this one, the Creality Ender 3 S1. Everybody loves the Ender 3 series, but a lot of them have a lot of assembly that you've got to do. They come out of the box in pieces and the S1 comes almost fully assembled. You basically just have to put a couple of poles in and across and you're basically done. You can put it together in 20 minutes, not you know several hours and almost anybody can do it very easily. You can get up in printing and you still get that great Ender 3 quality. The bed is about you know eight and a half by eight and a half by 10 roughly. Uh, it feeds from the top, which is great because I'm always trying to save space in my Brooklyn apartment. People very often ask me what TV to get. There's a lot of great answers out there, but almost every tech journalist I know, including myself, we all pretty much have the same TV, and that is an LG OLED. The latest version of that, the LG OLED C3, uh, particularly the 65-inch version, uh, is on sale, and it is a fantastic TV, up to 120 hertz now, so you can do really uh, fast refresh rate gaming, also great for sports, any other kind of content that supports it. Obviously, it's 4K, every TV is now. It's a smart TV, but you want to hook up your Roku box or Apple TV box anyway. But the point is OLED is really the TV technology that you want to have right now. The best blacks, the brightest colors. Uh, it really puts any LCD TV to shame. And if you want to be like your favorite tech journalist, get yourself an OLED TV. There are a lot of great gaming laptops out there, a lot of great budget gaming laptops out there, but every once in a while you run into a deal that's really good. I like this Acer Nitro 17 inch gaming laptop because it's got a big 17 inch screen. The screen has a 165 Hertz refresh rate. It's got an Intel Core i7. It's under a thousand dollars. It's 999. And the key is for that price, you get an Nvidia 4060 card. That's the thing that's tough to get under a thousand bucks, especially with all these other specs. And that's why this Acer Nitro is my gaming laptop holiday Black Friday pick. Lenovo pretty much invented the modern hybrid computer with the Yoga Line. It's got a 360 degree hinge, so it folds this way and then it folds all the way back to form a tablet, but Yogas are really expensive. A little known secret is that Lenovo has another line that does exactly the same thing and it's called the Flex. So the one that is on sale for Black Friday, I think you should check out is the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5. It's got a 16 inch screen and it's got that same 360 degree hinge, kind of like the Yoga series has. So you can use it as a laptop, you can fold it back into a kiosk, or you can fold it all the way around as a tablet, but you're not gonna spend nearly as much as you are on the more popular, more expensive Yoga line. The classic MacBook Air is something I usually call the most universally useful laptop you could buy, and it was a great price. For many, many years, the MacBook Air was $9.99. The latest generation with the M2 chip uh, and that cool midnight black color in the new design started off at $1,200. They eventually dropped it to $1,100, but it was still pretty expensive. Well, now for Black Friday, you can get the M2 MacBook Air 13-inch for under $1,000, so it's back even below that classic $9.99 price. And for that, it's really the default go-to laptop for so many people. It is so universally useful that uh, students, business people, writers, taking it to the coffee shop, taking it on planes. Every gamer loves mechanical keyboards. A lot of them take up a ton of space. I really like the Razer Black Widow V3 because it's much, much smaller. They cut off the number keys. It's super compact, but it's got those big, thick keys that everybody likes. Easy to put in your bag and take around with you if you're that kind of person, and that's totally okay. No judgments here. And because it's Razer, it's RGB, it's got all 
all the lights in it, ties into all your other Razer products. They're all in that Chroma ecosystem, so everything works together. If you want a mechanical keyboard, but you want something really a little bit different, I love the Logitech Pop. It's one of my favorite keyboard designs from the last couple of years. It's got kind of a vintage typewriter look. Uh, the keys really feel like you're clacking on a typewriter. It's actually got emoji key buttons, and you can pop some of those off and put other ones on. It appeals to people far beyond gamers. It's just a great piece of mod looking mid-century design. Most 3D printing that you see is what they call FDM printing. That's where the filament comes off a reel and it gets printed dot by dot as you go. The other type of 3D printing is resin 3D printing. And my go-to for that is the Anycubic Photon. The Mono 2 is one of the models that's on sale. And you start off with this liquid resin. And as your model is constructed, UV light cures the resin line by line and your model rises up out of the pool of resin liquid. It's super exciting to watch. You get really great results, but keep in mind, resin printing is a little bit more complex. You have to have good ventilation. You need to wear gloves. You need a UV cure light. You need a little alcohol bath form. So there's a lot of extra steps you have to take. It is more intermediate to expert 3D printing. So start off with an FDM printer, but when you're ready to trade up, get something like the Anycubic Photon to get into resin printing. HyperX is HP's gaming accessory arm, and they make a lot of great stuff, including a lot of microphones. And some of them are uh, light up microphones that do all kinds of cool stuff. But if you want something that's just a basic good USB microphone for podcasting or Twitch streaming, well, then the HyperX SoloCast, which you can't go wrong, it's as good a basic mic as you're going to get at that price. When my kid wanted a Bluetooth speaker so he could clip it onto his backpack, go outside with his friends and listen to music, I right away went and got him a JBL Clip 4. It's compact, it's rugged, it's got one of these carabiner style clips on it so you can clip it onto your backpack or your bag or your bike and it's not gonna fall off, not gonna get lost. Decent sound from a tiny speaker. So especially if a kid is looking for a portable Bluetooth speaker to take with them, this is my number one choice. Micro Center has a ton of stuff on sale for Black Friday. These were some of my personal picks, things I reviewed, things I own, things I think are the best in their categories. So come on in to check them out because Micro Center is the best computer store in the world. And stay tuned here for more reviews and more how-tos and more videos.